Yes, sir. What's up, man? What's going on? Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload. Whether you're on YouTube, whether you're on Facebook, whether you're on Twitter, whether you're on TikTok, wherever you're watching this video at, uh, you know, uh, follow, like, subscribe, man. Let me know. Uh, I ain't doing this for nothing. Um, interesting plays here. Interesting day is always interesting when we got basketball. Let me just go through a few things real fast and get out you guys' faces, all right? <laughs> uh, first game on the docket, we got uh, Los Angeles Clippers, Charlotte Hornets. We got 216.5 over under in this spot here. Um, right off the bat, uh, we have uh, injury news, uh, Kawhi, and we, uh, uh, these guys are going to play. Paul George and Kawhi, are they going to play, all right? So I'm going to tell you like this. If they don't play, then... Of course, uh, Terry Rozier, somebody who I have interest in. Um, he's taking 20 shots or better in three straight games. Uh, injury news. I mean, right along with uh, Kelly Oubre Jr., they're in the same boat. Uh, Kelly, Kelly Oubre Jr., I can say he probably took about, uh, on average, his last four games, probably took about 18 shots a game. Average for that four. Uh, but, man, he's averaging 19.8, so that's 20 points a game. Uh, his points probably, probably sitting around 20 points. Even if you want to do a second game parlay thing, be my guest. Uh, the usage is going to be there for for Kelly Oubre and um, and uh, and uh, uh, what's my, uh, Terry Rozier. Uh, Terry Rozier is probably sporting the 27, 28% uh, percent usage on the team right now. Ubre probably around 24, 25. So they 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 really use you know they they their usage is really ramped up. All right. Uh, injuries. Uh, it's just you know, man. Uh, 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 Dennis Smith Jr. is listed out. Norman Powell is listed out. Martin is lifted out. Luke Kennard is questionable. I mean, man, it's, it's a lot, man. So if I had to pick one, I mean, I would have interest in uh, the, the the points for uh, Terry Rozier. I mean, uh, he's got the best matchup if you ask me. Uh, he'll probably see somebody like uh, Reggie, and uh, I, I just like that matchup. Uh, 22 point, 22 and a half uh, points, you know, is not out of the realm of possibility. Uh, I just want to know if Ky, uh, uh, if uh, Paul George and Leonard is in or out. Assists, uh, Terry Rozier. I mean, uh, his rebounds and assists is in play, right along with um, right along with um, um, uh, uh. What's my boy name? Uh, Mason Plumley. Mason Plumley has been killing it. You can look at Mason Plumley's rebounds and assists, points and re rebounds or rebounds and uh, uh, or, or 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 points and assists, because he's been you know he's been playing some good ball. Uh, you know, so I can't talk you off of any of that. Uh, he's hit this number. What is it? Uh, thirteen and a half. Oh, it went up. Uh, well, he hit it. He hit this number last game. Thirteen and a half up. You should be at around eleven and a half, twelve and a half. So if you were temporary expectations, uh, be my guest. Uh, Perry Rozier plus money, uh, ten and a half uh, rebounds and assists. That there looks pretty good to me uh, in this spot. Uh, this is not a big time rebounding team outside of uh, Zubats, who I have major interest in his rebound prop. Uh, so I'll wait for that to come in. I'm probably end up locking that in. So uh, you know, hey, I don't see a pathway for Plumlee and uh, and Zubats to get in foul trouble. So. What that's leading me to believe that this is a good game for same game parlays. Stick it to the highest usage players. See who's in and out from the injury report and work with it from there. All right. Um, probably won't be fucking with no Morris. I probably won't be fucking with no. Uh, damn, I won't be messing with no Jackson. If I probably did a same game parlay, I probably do. If there was no, um, if there was no George and no Rosier, I probably would go. I mean, and, and, and no, and no, um. And no, uh, let's see, no George and there's no Kawhi. I would probably do a same game parlay with Terry Rozier, Kelly Oubre, Zubak, and um, Plumlee, and leave the rest of those iffy motherfuckers out, man. You know what I'm saying? Those are the guys I got interest in. I can't wait. So, you know, probably going to be official uh, rebounds for Zubak and probably points. I just want to know who's going to be in and out. Uh, I'm going to like Rozier's points no matter who's in. I ain't even going to lie. And like I said, his rebounds and assists are at play. Uh, these are the times you want to jump on it. You know, if you think uh, 
he can hit it. I mean, he's had just the assist alone in the last uh, four games, five games. He's at four, eight, eight, six, five, five, eight. Okay, so he, you know, he's averaging uh, 10, 10, 10. 4, uh assists and rebounds a game. Let me keep it moving, man. You know, generally when I talk about a game like that, it's a good one for same plays. Concentrated usage. We know who's going to be. You know, having a ball or whatever the case may be. Milwaukee Bucks at uh, Orlando Magic's uh, two twenty six over under in the spot. Um, Chris Middleton, uh, he's been playing ball. Keep in mind, he's played what? Uh, Middleton has played. Uh, Middleton has played twenty seven minutes in that first game. Back, granted, he had seven assists. Okay, where I got interest at here is probably going to be the assist prop for nobody, none other than uh, uh, let's see, um. Drew Holiday, okay? His assist prop is probably going to be sitting at, uh, let's see. Mm. Okay, uh, Drew Holiday assist, that's his rebound. Uh, Drew Holiday assist prop sitting at six and a half at plus money. He's averaging seven and a half assists. Um, I, it's doable, all right? It's definitely doable. Prize picks, you'll get it. You'll get it six on prize picks where you can uh, actually get a push there. Uh, so that's what prop that I'm looking at right now. Uh, you know, so uh you have a six and a half assists. And if you think, you know, for some reason that uh if you think for some reason that um you know this this uh this um if you think for some reason that this uh that uh, Milwaukee win this game then I, I know I seen I think I had a little bit of interest in the eight eight and a half assists uh for uh Drew, Drew, eight assists in, in the win for a player performance double. That might be something you can look at. But you can get a six flat on uh, prize picks, okay? So, yeah, that's why, you know, I, I, I got interest there. All right? Uh, it's a lot of lot of props and things to be hit on this game, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, next game we want to talk about here is probably going to be the, let me see. Um, let me see. Hmm. Oklahoma, there's a little turmoil going in with uh, uh, Trey Young and the coach. Uh, I, I imagine he's going to play today. Either way, it go this uh, Atlanta Atlanta Hawks team is pretty thin. Um, w- right now, what I know I'm going to like is Capella uh, uh, rebounds, uh, but we just got to wait for them to bring it out. So uh, that's the problem. Uh, they're not out. So uh, Capella rebounds, possibly double-double. Double double, whatever the case may be. He's had double digit rebounds in 13 of his last 15 games. Y'all guys don't need me to tell you that. That's one of the rebounds that you wake up and you know. You look at the team, you see that uh, Oklahoma City Thunder is one of the worst teams in the league, and we're on this rebounds. Possibly uh, double double for sure. All right. So, uh, let me keep it moving. Shot Gillis and down their points always in play. Like the matchup form here. Uh, like the matchup form here. All right. Uh snap. Let's see. Uh, Austin Celtics and Tourists. Listen, I love my two plays from this game. Whenever I see these teams, it's automatically rebounds and assists for uh, uh, Pascal Siakam and uh, assists for uh, Marcus Smart. I'm tempering my expectations on both of those props today. Uh, I just don't know what to do. It's not going to hurt me to fade this pick, these picks. It's not going to hurt me to fade these picks. And, uh, and and that's just that's, that's just a sign of growth, you know. Even if you fade those picks and they go out and have a, a thousand rebounds and assists, or a thousand assists for uh, 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 Margaret Smart, you just have to you, you, you just can't give a fuck. <laughs> in all in all seriousness, you know what I'm saying? You know, uh, you just can't you know can't can't dwell on the past and be like, damn, you know, I should have. No, you can't do that. You can't do that. Like, I should have bet on that. No, it's over with. On to the next day. Pick your spots. Let's keep it moving. Miami Heat at Memphis Grizzlies, 224 over under in the spot here. Don't have much for this game here. But what I will say is uh, I've been riding the shit out of that prop for uh, uh, Jerry Jackson Jr. Um, he scored 20 points in uh, six out of his last seven games. Uh, last time his point, last game his point prop came out at 17 and a half. Uh, easily cashed that. He had uh, 22 points. Um, you know, he's been shooting very efficient, you know, from the field, especially in his last uh, 
what, uh, three games, 7 for 13, 7 for 12, 5 for 10. The three ball has been there for him. You know, he's, you know, he's got multiple games where he's hitting uh, two or more threes. Interesting to see what the line is going to come out at. Um, interesting to see what the line is going to come out at, for real, for real. Um, rebounds. I will have some interest in the rebound prop for uh, uh, Stephen Adams, but we got to see. Uh, it's, a, it's just a way to see things. Uh, injury, you know, I mean, you know you got Jimmy Butler's questionable. Desmond Bain's still out. Hero questionable. Adams questionable. Uh, Strews questionable. So, I mean, it's just a way to see things. We're going to be waiting today, all right? We're going to be waiting. Philadelphia 76 is at Houston Rockets, 221 over under in the spot. Uh, right up the back, I'm gonna, James Harden should be back today. Where I'm going to have interest at is his assist. Uh, it, depending on, you know, I don't know. I might take – Tip of my expectations, but point, this team gives up the most assists to the point guard position, all right? So, uh, and then this is his old team, so, you know, he might have come out, you know, assisting like a mother dropping dimes, you know what I'm saying? So, it is what it is. Uh, uh, my boy, I appreciate you going, man. You know, I've been going to his props, and you guys have been seeing it, but, you know, I know this team is, they undecided on when and how they want to tank, if you ask me, and they don't want to let Alperson Goon go. They don't want to give him what he needs, all right? 20 minutes, 24 minutes, 29, 23, 35, 23, all right? He goes out there versus Golden State Warriors and plays 20 minutes, man. He had 12 points. I mean, he's, he's, he's doing he's doing damage in limited minutes now. He's going to be out there. If he doesn't get in foul trouble, which he does have a foul trouble problem versus Embiid, you know, he might. I'm not I'm not, I'm not betting it. I'm not betting it because they playing with his minutes, man. I don't like it, all right? I don't like it, not one bit. I do like uh, Philadelphia to, I mean, uh, yeah, Philadelphia to probably win this game. And uh, I can see points being put up in this one, man. So the 221 uh, over under is probably in jeopardy. You might hit the over there for my people who bet on games. You know, so it is what it is. Phoenix Suns at to, uh, the Dallas Mavericks here. Over under 222 in this spot here. Dallas Mavericks favored by three at home. Uh, Phoenix Suns, uh, Mm, been playing some good basketball, you know that. Uh, you know who I've been riding. I've been riding uh, De uh, De uh, DeAndre Ayton, okay. Um, so two that's I like the game here. Point uh, that they gave uh, the key gave, uh, the keys to um, De uh, um, um, Tim Hardaway too. I've been saying this shit all season long. He needs to be starting, man. You know. Uh, the usage is there for him, especially in the last three games. I think that's about just about the time he's been in the uh, in, in the starting lineup. Uh, 17 attempts, 20 attempts, 16 attempts. Uh, um, 13 of those, 17 attempts, 13 with threes. Tw 20 attempts, 14 with threes. Uh, 16 attempts, uh, 11 of them with threes. He's taking over a third of his shots are coming from beyond the arc. Okay, now. Uh, he's hit uh, eight, six, and five threes in his last three in that time span. Uh, granted, he did play against the New York Knicks, Detroit, and uh, Golden State Warriors, some teams that a pace up team, Golden State Warriors, and a couple of teams that have given up. But can't deny the usage is there. They're gonna need him to chunk. So uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know what his props are gonna. Oh shit! I must have, been, I must have bypassed this. So the usage is gonna be there. He'll probably see some defense. I'd imagine he'd see some defense from somebody like probably Booker. All right, make his ass work on both sides of uh, both sides of the um of the of the um court. I have interest in that 16 and a half point prop. Probably might stay away from the three part, but I might have some interest in that 16 and a half point prop. That Luka Doncic's two and a half threes are always in play, and of course, uh um um the rebound the rebound prop for DeAndre Ayton is probably sitting at ten and a half. Uh, you'll probably get a double double for about about minus one forty. I didn't check. Let's take a look at that and see what that's going to come out to. Ah, shit. Mm -hmm. DeAndre eight minus one forty five for a double double. Um, of course you'll probably get play a plus a plus money for a double double in the win and a play performance doubles if you think they're gonna win. I don't. know. So let me see. 22 in a win. 14 rebounds in a win. They don't have a double-double up here for the win unless I missed it. 
Either way it goes, uh, it is what it is. DeAndre Ayton has been playing some good ball here. All right. Uh, Tim Hardaway Jr. is not the best defender, so if uh, Ayton, uh, if if uh, Booker does uh, draw a matchup from him, he should be able to cook. And uh, we know Luka's a triple double threat. That's no doubt about that. And uh, yeah, that's just about it, man. I was looking for some numbers to see if these two teams faced each other, but I guess I don't see any numbers for that. Uh, last but not least, um, we we have the uh, that 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 Golden State Warriors and um, uh, any uh, any other patients that Golden State Warriors here. Of course, I like uh, Golden State to win this game. Um, Tyrese Halliburton is out, so that means we're probably going to see we're probably going to see either. TJ McConnell, who was sick last game, he might draw the start. If he does, I'll have some inch amount interest in this uh, assist prop. The boy can pass really, really good. If he doesn't get the start, uh, Andrew Nimhart will get the start for, for sure. And I have interest in his numbers as well, all right? Um, Usage bumps for uh, uh, Ben Matherin and Buddy Hill. Buddy Hill played 38 minutes, I think 36, 38 minutes. So for some reason, when he gets a bump like that, he does tend to go up in his rebound. His rebound, you know, Ticks up a little bit, so watch out for that. And um, the usual suspects for the uh, go, for the Golden State Warriors, they definitely play. Honorable mention for me, I'm just going to keep on riding it. I'm just going to keep on riding it. I'm going right back to that uh, rebound prop for uh, Kevon Looney. All right? So, uh, you know, uh, he's had 12, 12, 6, 7, 12. You know, it is what it is. Uh, I'll be going right back to this rebound prop for him. Uh, we know Miles Turner, but have, his usage will go up, and uh, he'll be out there trying to shoot the three, whatever the case may be. And then, um, you know, Steph and, um, Steph and um, Draymond assist. Definitely in play. All right. With that being said, man, um, I guess I'll get out of here, guys. Peace.